this one is actually a tricky problem. If you took this term as an x to the 11th term, then you have the coefficient is going to equal to 31 out of 11. Uh, this one turned out to be a big number, uh, something like uh, 7, 2, 3, 1, 5. But the problem is once you plug this in, you'll notice that this expansion says um, x to the 11, so it's this number. 7, 2, 3, 1, 5 times x to the 11, okay, then 1 over x to the 20th term. But if you were to combine this one, this x11 minus, okay, 20, this is not equal to x to the 11th term. So the trick is uh, when the x to the 11th term is actually a different term than n equal to 11. So here's, let's take a look. When you have x to the m, 1 over x to the n, okay, with the binomial expansion, we know m plus n has to equal to 31. That's what we're given here. Okay. Also, because this one is really x to the minus 1 times n, you have x, the x's power minus n is equal to uh, 11. This is the one they're asking for. So you actually have to solve what m is. So 2m is equal to 42, m is equal to 21. So they're actually asking what's the coefficient for x if it's x to the 21, okay, 1 over x to the minus 10. Okay, if you were combining this together, you would actually have x to the, my apologies, this is a plus 10 here, that together gives you 31. Okay, then that's x of 21 minus 10 equal to x to the 11. Okay, so they're actually asking the coefficient for this one. Let's call it a b. Okay, to calculate the b coefficient here, here this one is actually equal to um, permutation of 31, and we're going to have a 21 here. So this one is equal to 31, 21, which is equal to 31 factorial over 10 factorial. I just subtracted this, and then 21 factorial. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.